So, what are we dealing with here? Four psychic spikes measured at over 180 BPUs. Italy, Russia, Scotland, and the US. We've managed to contain the effects so far. So why the heck am I flying to Argentina? The spikes held a coded message, coordinates. They point to a large abandoned building just outside of Bariloche. Roberts began reconnaissance in 1830 hours, but we've heard nothing since. Lucky Roberts? Damn. Your job is to find Roberts and investigate possible links between this location and the spikes before they cause any further uh, repercussions. <laughs> That's a fun word. Who's on site? We're stretched pretty thin. You gave me Tatler as coordinator again, didn't you? She put together a good team at short notice. Be nice. You should tell her that. She hates me. You should prepare yourself. Once you land, you're going straight in. Straight in where, exactly? You'd never believe me if I told you. seems to work. I'm standing in what looks like the world's suckiest rent fair. No sound of lucky. Can you guys even hear me? Anyone? You're breaking up. Damn it. seems pretty stable right now, but this tethered doohickey looks ready to crap out on me. I hate to think how lucky he's doing with that one. Yeah, I get it. Don't break the tether. Mortal. Uh, hi? You trespass upon the world. Hey, that wasn't exactly a sign. Look, did... Tell me where my friend is, and we'll be gone before you know it. Oh, come on. Really? Guys, the welcoming committee inbound. You should not have leave this place. <sighs> Great. Now you tell me. things to do. Okay, I'm done. Now, how about you tell me where Lucky is? Fool. 
Not even gonna answer that. Tales. Neither wife nor husband, but spouse to Shahriar. Yeah, good for you. Where's my friend? You have earned the role in this tale. What the hell? I mark you protagonist. As such, you may return to your world. Take your friend. He lies yonder. I must leave, but I shall follow your tale with interest. Guys, I found Lucky. <sighs> He's in bad shape, but... Oh boy. Hey, hang in there, buddy. Gotta figure out how to get you out of here. <sighs> I can't move. Give me a sec, buddy. I'll think of something. Uh, I got incoming sounds real big. How do we get out of here? What? That sounds like a really bad idea. <sighs> Damn it, I don't have a better one. But grab my hand, Lucky. <sighs> Time for you to live up to your name. causing the spikes, I'm sure of it. I need to get back in there. You were on armory duty until further notice. What the hell were you thinking? I, uh, <laughs> I guess my precog failed. I didn't think I was at any risk. Yes, I'm aware of your particular talents, but that was stupid. You entered the chamber without authorization. Your rescue op nearly cost us two agents. You should thank the Lord I don't kick your ass all the way back to Idaho. Hellboy. The entity you spoke to. Friendly or not? Shahrazad? Hard to say. First I assumed they ran things, but then something spooked them. Whatever it was sounded real nasty. We got the hell out of there. So, let me summarize. We have no idea what this house or the word has to do with the spikes. And we still don't know why we were led here. That is not acceptable, gentlemen. When do our folklore experts arrive? They were supposed to be here four hours ago. For now, you're on your own. Now get back in there and find out what's going on. Dismissed. First of all, good work shows you can obey order. Keep going like that? Thanks. However, we still don't know what this house has to do with why there was a signal directing us here. So yeah, we do- Yeah, yeah, I get- All right then. Hey, Oldman. Thanks for fixing the tether. I was a little rough on it. Donata. Good as new. Better even. Should be a lot more stable now. Although there is a quirk to these devices. Why am I not surprised? So, you know that if the tether breaks, you return to the exit chamber, right? Well, if the tether breaks and there's no active chamber to return to, it's bad. Define bad? 
Well, the tether doesn't know where to return you to, so... Imagine falling, screaming into a bottomless pit forever. That kind of bad. Uh, how about we make sure that doesn't happen? I can try, but don't sweat it. Could be worse. How exactly? Could be me going in there. Oh. Hey, Red. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Um, thanks for saving my ass. Not a problem. How's armory duty? Boring. Anything taken from our world into the word degrades super fast. So, no weapons? It's just bad language and knuckles? No. Altman rigged a fix for us. See, things in the word release energy when they die. Your tether captures that energy. And we can use what you collect to reinforce our equipment so it doesn't just fall to pieces. Altman calls it synchronizing. So the more bad guys I take down... The more goodies I can offer you here. Wanna take a look at what's available now? Isn't this house beautiful? It was built in the 40s by Pasquale de Neve, a French occultist. He disappeared five years ago and hasn't been seen since. The house was abandoned, and now, now it's a local legend. The Butterfly House. Look around you. There's no vandalism, no wildlife. It just remained like this, untouched. And kinda creepy. <laughs> Oh, I like it. I can hear history speaking to me here, you know? Psychometry, right? Mm-hmm. When I touch things, this little box whispers secretos. Anything useful so far? Not yet, but it is a big house. Hey, if you find anything in the word, bring it to me, okay? Once I touch it, who knows what we could learn? Sure thing. Glad to have you on the team. Back in the chamber. Roger that. You have returned to finish this chapter, protagonist. If I'm a protagonist, can we be done with all the skeletons? Unlike travelers past, you will find little aid or wisdom here. Our master does not tolerate heroic tales of ascension. Only rage and death. I fear your journey will end at the Faithless King. That your boss? Sounds like a fun guy. So I uh, guess we still got skeletons. Peachy. Greetings, protagonist. A hero, perhaps? Or mayhap you already were. <sighs> it is confusing. Uh, yeah. Forgive my rudeness. I will be Skald, Norn, Cutter, and Crone of the Word. It is not my task to aid or impede, but you deserve the blessings I gave. Or will in time. It is confusing. Totally agree.
not change your story. My master will not allow it. Your boss is a pain too, huh? Good to know. However, I may heighten the trauma and grant you blessings when they are deserved. Sucked. A hero who explores not is no hero. Some kind of ward here. Can't get through.
right. Take that yet.
thou the devil come to renege on his bargain? No, but I get that a lot. You're the faithless king, I guess? Look, I got questions. Perhaps thou art deaf. Come to claim and break the contract. Look, buddy. I just want to stop this place from breaking my place. I think not. If thou art not Lucy for our death, thou art a thrall. And I say, thou shalt go no further. Oh, brother. Have it your way. You brought something back from the ward with you? I did. That's the kind of thing you were looking for? Yes. Let's hear what it has to say. <sighs> it, it's so much rage. I can make out words. Interloper. Madness. Infection. Something is in the word that should not be. Something bad. That's why the spikes are occurring. I'm sure of it. Okay, that fits. Well, thanks for the info. I'll bring back anything else I find. Oh, I nearly forgot. Whatever you did in the word seems to have caused the house to react. Huh. Well, that's unexpected. Are you sure it was me? Well, correlation isn't necessarily causation. But, you took down the Faithless King, and adding his relic to the Converter seems to power up the Bell Chamber. Well, how about that? I should take a look. Before you start bitching, I put Lucky on armory duty for a reason. Don't give me any attitude about it. It's my call. Yeah, I know. The BPRD is shorthanded, so I can't be dealing with anyone's heroics right now. Understand me? Perfectly. Ma'am. Broom report.
Hey. How many? No. There's a. At least we. Yeah. Bad time. Uh, the system's only running at 80% because Betty's in a mood. You called your comm station Betty? Yeah, after my mom. I can see every electrical impulse in her and I can tell her flow is all wrong. She just needs a delicate touch to get things back to 100%. Uh, okay. And we're done. Last time she gets smart with me. Hellboy, how was your journey into the word? Honestly, I didn't care for it much. Locals were real and friendly. But fascinating, I am sure. I have so many questions. How was being bound to an etheric tether? Pretty impressed Altman managed to cook one up so quickly. Could you feel a physical pull back here? Did it kind of flop around or what? Didn't notice it after a while. Not until I got hit anyway. Tethers are a key part of the lore surrounding astral travel. Conventional wisdom suggests that if it is destroyed, one is lost in the astral plane for all eternity. Well, that's reassuring. The fact that breaking it didn't lead to being stuck in some kind of gray, endless limbo is good, right? Yeah, well, I got a whole new world to investigate. I'll let you know if I find out anything folklore. Each area in the word corresponds to somewhere in our world. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly where you were. Now, the combination of religious imagery and the style of armor suggests something like 12th century Mediterranean medieval. And that ties in with the psychic spike report in Italy. Italy? Where exactly? Krakow. It's a perfect fit. Creepy, abandoned, old. That is entirely supposition without more data. Surely it's at least a hypothesis. It's Krakow. I bet you dollars to crackers. Pretty sure that's not the phrase, but whatever. I've discovered a reference to the faithless king Scheherazade mentioned. It's in the Yellow Book, a collection of folk tales from 1780. Well, fairy tales? I guess that fits. The story tells of a king who sold his soul to the devil in return for eternal life. Despite this, he was convinced his own soldiers would eventually turn against him. So he sent them to the Crusades, claiming that he would send reinforcements. But he left them to fight against overwhelming odds and die. It is said that the soldiers' souls returned home, bringing death himself back with them. So I'm dealing with a Satan-worshipping king and some pissed-off death cultist crusaders. Good to know. How's it going? I've been racking my head to remember what happened before you dragged my sorry ass out of the word. Will anything come back to you? No. I remember hearing a really loud roar, or voice, whatever it was, scared the bejesus out of me. The things I was fighting hurt it too, and they just left. Okay, now that's kind of creepy. Yeah, like, what could have scared them? I'm not gonna worry about that right now. 